Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Libra for March 16th through the 31st, 2020. I would like to add, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos as somebody out there might find them entertaining. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. <clears throat> I would like to show you we have three stones here, okay? So I'd like you to ask yourself or ask the universe a question, right? Focus on the stones. Ask a question to the universe. See which stone calls out to you, and then at the end of the reading, I will go ahead and read the answer uh, that's underneath the stone. Okay, now you can ask one to three questions. I don't suggest three because you can get the stones and your intuition mixed up there. Let's try with, you know, maybe two is the safe, uh, safe for uh, two questions, okay? Then you use your intuition to see which two uh, are calling out to you, and I will answer the question at the end of the video. <clears throat> So, yeah, we got some 80s party mix again, you know, I'm, I'm just going to keep it this theme. It's all right. You know, it's kind of good moods right here. And, uh, you know, we want to you know, express true love all the time, right? Happy, friendly, and loving. All right. So uh, that's only because we're calm and we're cheerful, right? <laughs> okay. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I would like to say I am opening up readings for April. Um, Ten readings only per month. Okay, I have a lot going on um, uh, during the month. So that's all I'm offering right now. It's 11.11 for a question that lasts 15 to 30 minutes of a video. Okay, so uh, get your order in, orders in now. I'll let you know when I close for the month, okay? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> These cards are already pre-shuffled. So I'm going to go ahead and see the general energy of the reading for Libra. This is for March 16th through the 31st, 2020. Okay, general energy is. All right, so we have the Princess of Coins. All right. I'm almost feeling as if I think uh, Aries had that, but, I, you know, I'm not quite 100% sure. But it seems like somebody is um, coming in with a message. Um, a, fi a message of uh, involving finances, right? This also could be a younger person uh, coming into the picture, somebody younger than you. Also, this could signify somebody trying to save some money instead of uh, sp squandering it as opposed to, right? So it could be one or the other. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and find out what else is going on here. And this is for... Um, uh, Libra for March 16th through the 31st, 2020 for Libra. This is for Libra, March 16th through the 31st, 2020 for Libra. I'm trying to get three cards. Whoa, you guys, cards want to come out. <laughs> Either that or my, I'm really fumbly right now. I don't know. But uh, we want three cards. And the next three cards are... All right, we got the King of Cups right here, okay? And the King of Cups wants to show some love, okay? <laughs> you could be holding that energy, but let's find out what's what's going on here. Okay, we have some devil energy going on, something that's not too not too nice, right? Because of it could be because of addictions and oh, eight of swords, eight of swords. Okay, so Right here, we have the King of Cups. You could know this King of Cups, all right? This is somebody in your life, possibly a Libra, all right? And this person has the energy of the, of the uh, devil, right? Possible addictions, uh, negative traits like that, right? <clears throat> and um, we have the Eight of Swords here, and this person is feeling trapped in this devil energy. Wow, okay, so maybe somebody, maybe somebody is feeling trapped in this energy and... Um, you know, you know, I, I, I can't really say. Let's get some more cards out. 
Let's get some more cards out and see what's, you know, somebody might be asking for something, right? Somebody might feel as if they are trapped in some sort of energy. Let's find out. I don't know. Something came to mind, but I don't know. Somebody might be coming and asking you for help. And uh, some sort of help, some assistance, right? All right, so the next three cards we have out for Libra are... We have the Ace of Cups, all right? So this is a uh, emotional beginning, of course, right? From the King of Cups. And uh, we have the King of Coins right here now. And the King of Coins, this person is holding on to some sort of devil energy. Now we know this is not the King of Cups. This is the King of Coins, right? And then we have the Two of Cups. So somebody feeling in a trapped situation, trapped possibly in a relationship, right? Okay, so we do have uh, King of Cups and King of Coins. Okay, where is where is the Swords? Right, where is the Swords besides that Eight of Swords right there? All right, what else is going on here for Libra for March sixteenth through the thirty first, twenty twenty? What's going on for Libra? You want to know what's going on for Libra? going on for Libra. The next three cards out are Queen of Wands. Okay, so the King of Cups is dealing with the Queen of Wands. Wanting to have a new beginning, right? With the, Or maybe they're together. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they started a new beginning together. Okay. And we have the Judgment card. All right. So this Queen of Wands also dealing possibly with the King of Coins. Okay. And somebody is being judged over this situation. Final card, the Hierophant, some sort of, um, you know, institution, maybe marriage, maybe, uh, I don't know, you know, business, right? So that's what's going on here. This Queen of, this queen of Cups is uh, having a new star with the uh, King of Pentacles, and she has made a judgment to stay with the King of Pentacles, even though there might be some toxic uh, energies right there, right? Now, we also have the King of Cups here. who's very emotional, wanted a new start. But uh, this person, too, is dealing with devil energy and also dealing with the King of Pentacles. So this is uh, the, King of, the King of Cups uh, has a, an issue with this devil energy involving the King of, King of Pentacles. This might be the King of Pentacles his business may be devil energy, right? And the king of cups may be the devil, uh, the king of pentacles uh, customers, right? That's why the queen of wands goes with the king of pentacles because he's the one with all the dough. He's the one with the sack, with the deep pockets, right? So this is uh, possibly... Uh, things or relationships not based on love but based on money and business right so we also have the hair event over here in the corner right what is this going on here well we don't know yet so let's gonna let's go ahead and find out what's going on next here for libra march 16th through the 31st march 16th through the 31st 2020 for libra what's going on for libra all right because you know we can fly give me the nights this is the jam you guys shit yeah what you know about this song no i'm just kidding <laughs> all right so the next three cards we have are <clears throat> ace of pentacles right so ace of pentacles and ace of cups all around for the king of cups right King of Cups is going to have all kinds of new beginnings, right? Now, is it involving the Queen of Wands? It, it could be possibly. Queen of Wands could be, I don't know, I'm getting a weird feeling about her. I'm getting a weird feeling. I'm getting the feeling of, of manipulation of some sort, right? Look at that. Ten of Swords. Damn. Right when I said manipulation, right? Backstabbing, manipulating. Oh, God. So, you know what? The King of Wands could be involved. Uh, the King of Cups could be involved with the Queen of Wands, right? And they have a plan to have a new beginning and a new emotional start. But the Queen of Wands has a plan to foil 
the King of Pentacles somehow. There's going to be some judgment made, and the King of, of uh, Pentacles is going to be backstabbed in regards to this devil energy. There will be judgment made. Look at that shit, King of Swords. There you are, Libra. <clears throat> there you are, all right? So in regards to this King of Cups starting a new financial secure beginning, He's also with devil energy, backstabbing devil energy, and the king of swords is involved. The king of swords feels trapped in the situation. All right, so the king of swords is looking for a way out. Right, that's what I can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I see here. King of swords trying to find his way out of this weird and tricky situation, right? I don't think he wants to be part of this situation. There's some uh, deception going on here amongst different people. Um, take that how it resonates, Libra. Be careful who around who you're hanging around with because uh, maybe somebody is not good and they're going to bring drama your way, right? You don't want any of that shit. The next three cards out are... Four of Wands. Okay, so yeah, King of Cups married possibly to the Queen of Wands, right? That's fire and water. Okay, now what's next? Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's going to be a message, a passionate message coming into the, the King of Pentacles, right? You know, probably coming from the Queen of Wands, I don't know, but there's a passionate message coming in and he's going to make a judgment over that. Um, I also see here we have the Nine of uh, Cups, which is Wish Fulfillment, right? And the King the king of Swords, Libra, you you feeling trapped in some sort of Nine of Cups situation, right? Someone that you, some, someone that you shared emotions with in the past, and, and you might have even been married to them. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. I, I kind of don't even see you as being part of all this stuff behind you, but somehow you're indirectly um, associated with it, right? So let's keep going and find out what else is going on here. What are the next three cards? And this is for Libra for March 16th through the 31st, 2020. This is for Libra. I just saw one, two, two, two. And you know what's crazy? When I got out of my car today, uh, you know, my, my clock in there is all jacked up. But, uh, yeah, it was one, two, two, two when I got out of the car. So, maybe I should look it up, huh? <laughs> Anyways, it might be significant to somebody out there. All right, so the next three cards are... All right, so we have the Ace of uh, I don't I don't take these from reverse, you guys. So, but we have the Ace of Wands. All right, and the Ace of Wands, you know, there this the King of Cups wants new beginnings all around with the Queen of Wands. Right, Queen of Wands is, might be a very manipulative person. She might be working in cahoots with the King of Cups, but she's also working in cahoots somehow, some way with the King of Pentacles. Right? Trippy. Mm-hmm. As the story unfolds, okay? So now we have judgment, right? Uh, we have over the judgment, we have the Eight of Swords now. Eight of Swords up there, Eight of Swords down here, right? And who is here? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is going to receive a message of somebody having passions. He's going to place a judgment on it, but for right now, he feels stuck in this situation because he's being backstabbed by something involving this devil energy, Right? Now, we have the Ace of Cups right here, and there it is. The final Ace of Cups is here. And you know what? How convenient it falls right on top of the Hierophant, which is the marriage card, right? So somebody's in an unhappy marriage or somebody is involved or feeling stuck about some sort of Nine of Cups energy, wish fulfillment, wanting to start new somewhere and get married possibly. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. we got to get those those last few cards out. Look at it at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to have a talk with somebody. Somebody sees somebody in their future. They want to have a discussion. They want to know where do we stand, right? So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put these over here, all right? So it seems that there is somebody that wants some sort of marriage, some sort of something right here, right? 
And we, we have a lot of deception and, you know, Ten of Swords right here. Eight of Swords is like someone feeling trapped, but it could be somebody feeling trapped in their own mind about something. Thinking about negative stuff that, that ain't even real. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say, you know, don't live your life by the tarot. Because somebody can say something here that sounds crazy. And that shit ain't even happened in your life. And then you're thinking about it. And then you start manifesting that shit. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Not a good idea. You know, when you're, you know, when you're doing this, it's, it's entertainment, you guys. It's entertainment. And, and you know what? Okay. Sometimes it, 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 it resonates. And some of it resonates real good. But remember what I said. You are the creator of your own destiny. So you guys can basically, um, you know, change shit. You know, manifest something nice. Shoot. I went and I got it. Incense. These are smell so good. These are strawberry ones. Oh, my God, you guys. I never usually, usually choose this, but I just got these just for, like, shits and giggles. I was like, oh, what's strawberry like? Oh, my God. Oh, it smells so good. Anyways. <clears throat> So, yeah, so let's keep moving along here. Let's find out what happens next because somebody wants to start a new marriage somewhere or some shit, right? Jeez. Don't you wish it was just that so easy to go and get married? And, well, you know what it is. And that's why so many marriages fail. So, <laughs> you know, you really got to go through a lot with an individual to keep a marriage going. You really do. You got to put a lot of work into that. You know, marriage, it's its not just marriage. Marriage is a business, right? Marriage is a business, straight up, right? Because now you're working for two, you know? And having a child, too, is a business. It is, all right? You got to take care of the child. You got to raise a child. You got to make sure the child doesn't end up a, a, a serial killer, right? Some kind of criminal, Shit, but too bad some people, they don't do that. They don't care and shit, you know? Fuck. Nine of Wands. <clears throat> All right, so Nine of Wands. Okay, so the king here, old kingy of Capo, is, um... <sighs> he wants a financial new start. He, he, he has the Nine of Cups, uh, Nine of Wands energy right here. He, he, he wants to defend himself over a situation, right? He's got one fight left. He wants a, it's last time, please. He wants to get involved somewhere. Look at that Four of Wands right over the deception and the devil card. Damn. Somebody might have hooked up with somebody out of devil energy. Right? Maybe it was like a one-night stand. Everybody that was getting fucked up, this party, and then people were drunk and on dope, whatever, who knows, they hooked up, and then it's like every time they see each other, that's what they do. And then all of a sudden, they're feeling like it's a chore when they see each other, so they feel like this is, this is it. This is the one, because we love getting fucked up and getting together. You know, that's a possibility, right? I'm just being hypothetical with that, right? Like, you know, if they take you home, is somebody going to still love you? Because somebody needs someone tonight. <laughs> You hear the song, you guys? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Look at what song happens to be on. So maybe that's how it all started out. And you got so used to it. But then when you actually did shack up and, and have those moments, you're just like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. You know? I don't feel so good about it anymore. Look, five of swords. A lot of lying. A lot of lying. A lot of feeling trapped. And is that you, Libra? Feeling trapped in a situation? Because... You wanted to be with somebody, and you had one fight left, and they you fought for them, and they they you guys got together, and then boom, five of swords. Not feeling so good anymore, are we? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <sighs> all right. So was this all based on lust, possibly, uh, Libra? Not really. Not really exactly love, because y'all were fucked up, and it just. Shit happened because y'all were rocking steady. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what happened. Steady rocking all night long, high on dope or whatever, right? Drunk. Who knows? What fall out here? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So, you guys, the next three cards out are for Libra is from March 16th to the 31st, 2020 is the moon. Mm -hmm. Somebody's holding a secret about something in regards to a union or a marriage or some kind of two people getting together, right? Starting something new. Somebody's holding a secret about two people starting something new. That's what it is. Somebody got together with somebody. They started something new and they're keeping it a secret. They're not telling anybody about it. All right. And they're hoping, they're hoping, uh, and, 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 and with this secret, somebody involved here, this is a passionate message that gets out to the King of Pentacles, and he's now hoping, uh, has hopes in a certain situation involving a new start, right? A new start here. Two of Cups, a new, a new start with wish fulfillment, taking a leap of faith, sharing the, his emotions with somebody. You see that shit? Okay, look. <laughs> I, try to, I try to keep the flow of the words going because I feel like that's what spirit is wanting me to say. I feel like if I stop in between and, and think for a minute, it's like I get flustered. I just got to keep going. And then I, I, I get you guys that message, right? Shit, man. All right, so that's what's happening here, though. Going across, we got their secrets, okay? Their secrets involving uh, two people getting together. All right, this could be the King of Cups getting involved. Uh, maybe somewhere with the King, uh, the Queen of uh, Wands. But regardless, with this secret marriage or this secret situation right here, someone has hope still uh, in a situation, and this could be the King of Coins. So... Because it's a secret, this is why the king of coins is holding on. Because he doesn't know that she's married, that she's already shacked up. This is where the manipulation comes in. So he's all having hopes that maybe he can get uh, shacked up with the queen of wands. But the queen of wands is already secretly shacked up. All right. And he still, she makes him believe, oh, yes, leap of faith. Right, wish fulfillment, let's party. So you see where I'm getting at right here, you guys? You know, these are people manipulating because they want to party and do drugs and, and maybe manipulate people for money or gamble, whatever. Bad, toxic energies, right? Fuck, Libra, who are you around? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, not too bad people shit. I'm, I'm just trying to say. All right, so now... What is the next three cards out for Libra for March 16th through the 31st, 2020? The next cards out, three cards out, are Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, okay. So this Queen of Wands is basically somebody that somebody fantasizes about all the time. Most likely it's that Queen of Pe King of Pentacles. But the, she was also an option in the past to the King of Cups. Right, she was one of his options, and she, I think, was the one that started passionate with, uh, passionately with him, this Queen of Wands, right? Because it started based on dope, drugs, getting high, getting together, and just being like that, right? Being in toxic situations, you know, orgies, uh, swingers club, whatever, just ew, garbage like that, right? It's the spreading of, you know, bodily fluids and disease. All right. So, I mean, that's just what I, you know, I don't know. I, mean, I could be, you know, maybe there's some of you out there that like that. I don't know. But for me, that's just all I picture in my mind. Sorry. Now, we have the Ace of Wands here. And the Ace of Wands is over the Judgment card. Judgment, but feeling trapped. So somebody's feeling trapped in a judgment situation. Could somebody be in jail? Possibly. Or somebody could just be trapped in their mind about how they're going to make a new start, this new passionate start. This King of Pentacles hoping to start something new, hoping to have, um, uh, what is this, Four of Wands, right? Sure is, hoping to have marriage somewhere along the line, but you know what, this devil energy has got, this guy is going to get backstabbed, right? That's what's going to happen. Backstabbed by the Bonnie and Clyde team over here, right? Let's see what's going on with friggin' uh, Libra. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the Libra magician. Libra is a motherfucking magician. All right, that's all I, 
Okay, yes. And you know why Libra's a magician? Because Libra have been backstabbed so many times in Libra's life that they have learned. And this is why the universe has granted Libra with the power and the mind and the, the abilities of being a magician. Right? Taking, taking, always taking a risk for others. Always taking that leap of faith for others. And the universe sees that shit, right? The universe friggin' sees it. And look at that, the hair fin. Libra. Libra wants to join some union somewhere with love, right? And the universe is saying, Libra, there's your there's your free pass right there, the magician. And you will have what you want. All these people back here, they're gonna be continuing their drama, crying over somebody, you know, this is a girl cheating with that girl, drug addictions, you know, all but Libra. Yes. <laughs> I mean, hey, what can I say? And yes, you are indirectly associated with them. But you're like, you know what? I'm cool over here in my little corner. So I'm going to stay right over here. All right. So as long as you mind your own business, Libra, and do your own little thing silently for yourself, you know, wish well to others. Be, oh, yes, they are nice people. They are nice friends. Yes, yes, but I don't want to be involved. I don't want to hang out. As long as you just do like that, you're okay. <laughs> All right. So now what we are going to do is I am going to let me just set this down. Okay. What I am going to do here is I am going to pull two cards from this Isis Oracle deck. Okay. This is a nice little new deck I got. So we're putting it to use starting out. Has big old paragraphs on the back, but you know, at least it's on the it's on the card. It's not you don't have to look it up in a big old book, right? That's what I like about these. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and see. We're gonna pull two cards and we're gonna see what this Isis Oracle has to say for Libra today. Maybe uh, the Oracle saying you need a holiday. Damn, you need to take a break. <laughs> All right, a time for celebration. Okay, yeah, my bad, my bad. I didn't hurt your guys here. All right, so the first card out is... Okay, here's the first card, you guys. Lo the Lunar Queen. Ooh, look at that. It's a nice-ass drawing, right? So you could be doing some moon magic, Libra, or something like that. You may have some kind of connection with the moon. Wow, lucky you, Libra. Lucky, lucky. So let's see. Let's see what's next after that. All right. Okay, so the next card out for Libra is. Let's celebrate, right? Ooh, the flower of life. Yes. Yes. The Flower of Life, right? Which actually breaks down to be to Metatron's cube, right? Enoch. Yes, sirree, Bob. Let's find out what these things mean, okay? All right. <clears throat> All right. Oh, it's time to celebrate or what? Kind of feel like it, right? All right, so I guess, you know, I'm going to have a good feeling. It feels like a time to celebrate, celebration, yeah, and all this and that. So maybe you're getting hooked up, Libra, right? All right, let's see what the Lunar Queen says. There is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment <clears throat> as essential to balance our actions of power and demonstration. My bad. That wasn't a break in the sentence. These these cards have like super long sentences, but <clears throat> I needed to clear my throat right there. But Okay, you are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now, trusting that you are in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase. Release and enjoy the process without having to control or force it. Ooh, okay, so maybe you're getting all... You know, anal with the moon stuff, putting burning candles in the moon, whatever, whatever it is you're trying to do here. Just time for relax. Time for relax, okay? Because you've been doing enough, all right? It's, you know, there's you've already done all you can do here, Libra. You've already done it. If you're still trying, Libra, I mean, 
How many times are you going to ask? How many times are you going to ask the universe? They hear you, all right? You need to learn patience a little bit sometimes, Libra, right? <clears throat> all right. Let's see what the Flower of Life says. This is a very nicey, nice card. Okay. So, oh, and look. Oh, I thought there was a mandala in the background, but there wasn't. I think this is a sunflower. Oh, okay. Flower of, and you know the sunflower, when you look in the middle of the sunflower, it shows the actual sacred geometry within the flower where the seeds are that represent the shape and the, you know, geomet geometric uh, status of the flower of life, right? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. You are entering a fertile period in your life. Ooh, fertile. You are guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control over how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. All right, stop pushing everything, right? Don't resist change. Instead, go with the flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. Okay, so stop, like, you know, this is the same thing. Give it a break. Give it a rest. Whatever you're dealing with, give it a rest, all right? T do you. Just do you. That's all I gotta say. Just do you. Forget about everyone else. And, you know, just give whatever you've been tripping out on. Just give it a day gone rest. Alright? I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not picking on Libra. I'm, I'm friggin', I'm friggin' double Libra. So, I'm not even trying to pick on anybody. So, and I see where that is. And, you know, I took me a big, long nappy today. And that felt great. Straight up, nice nap midday. Just... <sighs> You know, I, I try to start out with meditation, but you know how that goes. <laughs> I, I just knocked the fuck out. So I was just like, oh, my gosh. All right. So, yeah, that's what we got for you. This looks like, okay, yeah, just, as long as you just stay on your own little corner, Libra, you're safe. <laughs> that's all you got to do. You don't need to be involved in no people drama. Nah, drama for your mama, right? Okay, so time for the stones. All right. So don't freak out, though, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, because you know the song. Okay. All right, so if you chose um, the first stone, let's see what this is. All right, we got the frog here. The frog is... Um, well, too bad my eyes aren't working very well right now. Let me look a second, you guys. <sighs> All right, the frog. The frog is... Um, Emotional healing and cleansing. <laughs> I'm blind, you guys. I have a chart, you know, that's where I get it. And then that's how I kind of get the, you know, well, a lot of them I have them already. I already got them memorized, but this one, and, and it's late, so my eyes aren't working as well as they should. But, yeah, that's what's right here, you know. Emotional healing and cleansing. So, okay, so the, for your question... You may be going through some of this right now in regards to your own personal situation, right? You may be going through some emotional healing and some cleansing. You may be trying to cleanse your body of toxins because of this devil energy, right? Let's see what else we got. Look at that. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. I was talking about devil energy. Ten of swords is right above the devil energy. Can you believe it? Can you friggin' believe that? So, look. Your answer is no. Whatever question you're asking, the answer is no. This is a very toxic situation. You're going to get backstabbed in it. And you could be dealing with a Gemini. So if you want my advice, steer clear of this Gemini and any of this toxic energy. Whatever question you ask, the answer is no. No, no, no. Do not trust. Do not, okay? Here's the second stone. <clears throat> We have the owl, and the owl is um, spirituality and psychic vision, all right? Spirituality and psychic vision, right? Intuitive, intuition, all right? Time to use it, you guys. Whoever chose this uh, second stone, you know, universe is urging you to use it right now. Why? Because, oh, my God, I can't even fucking believe this, you guys. Look it. The devil energy, Capricorn, bam, right next to each other, bam, right next to each other. You guys, wh whoever chose, you know what, Libra, 
Libra, be careful here. Don't trust anybody coming your way right now, all right? Just like like this says, take your breaks, give it a rest, okay? Focus on yourself. Stay in your corner. Stay in your corner because all this right here is a big ass mess. Don't even deal with those motherfuckers right now, okay? Leave them alone. Because all of this double confirmation that everything is fucked up from here to here. So stay in your corner. Be nice. You already been part of the backstabbing energies. Just just stay over here. Manifest good for yourself, okay? I'm just urging you. That's all. You don't have to do what I say. You don't have to believe. Remember, you are the you are in charge of your own destiny. Start thinking about some happy friggin' good times. Right? Dragonfly. Okay, and the dragonfly represents I'm blind. I can't see it because this is also a brand new one. Um Oh, you know what, you guys? Dang, where is my magnifying glass? Okay, hold on, you guys. I just got to get up and get closer because it's too far from me. All right, this says... Oh, my God, you guys. What does this shit say? Need for change. How come, you know, my eyesight is super bad right now? Illusion and need for change. Yes, sir. Illusion and need for change. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Right? That's what it says right there, you guys. So, all right. All right, you guys. So, yeah. That's what it says right there. All right. That says illusion, need for change. So, look. Change away from these people. <laughs> Change from there to something else because these people, everybody involved here, not this card. Okay, not this card. But everybody from here to here, illusions. Illusions and need for change. Get these people out your circle, all right? Stay right here. Stay happy, right? Stay happy. What does this say right here? Two of Swords. Maybe. Libra, this is for you. This is confirmation for you. All right? This is confirmation. Make the right choice. Do not deal with the devil. Ten of swords energy. This is where you want to stay. I'm just saying, dude, subscribe, like, comment, and share on this video. Let this one get out because you know what? There's some sneaky behavior going on here. You need to get away from these motherfuckers that are trying to bring you down. Trying to backstab you with their little devil energy. Uh-uh. No, dude. All right? So just chill out. Stay on your side. Fix yourself. Love yourself. And let these motherfuckers stay over here and stay in their toxic ass activity. Right? You don't need them. They ain't going to get anywhere anyways. They're just going to keep going around secrets, lies, deception, just garbage. Let them stay in their marriage of hell, right? I'm telling you, let's just stay on the happy side and let's hug each other over here on this side. <laughs> right? True love on this side for Libra. Right? Happy, you know, friendly, loving. We have nothing to fear because we're calm and cheerful over here. Oh, that rhymed, you guys. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> so that's all I have for you, Libra. This is from March 16th to the 31st, 2020. Um, remember what I said? I'm just saying. Let's just keep it on our part of the world over here. Right? It's all for you over there, Libra. If you like drama, then you can go over there. But I suggest success and happiness over here, okay? So my name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.